I realized that I was losing some vision, which was confirmed by the doctor as macular degeneration. But it is worsening as time goes on. This is a degenerative disease. I'm looking for ways to keep my life as normal as possible. My name is Michael Samuel. I'm a retina specialist. I work at the Retina Institute of California. So I'm the chief medical director for this practice. Macular degeneration is the number one cause of blindness in this country, so we see a lot of that. It's a lot of what I do. Uh, patients that have end-stage macular degeneration are really the ones that are struggling the most. They're the ones who are looking for technology to really help their lives. I'm having challenges with general vision in the distance. Um, at this point, I can no longer see faces clearly. When you lose enough vision, glasses can't make up for the vision loss. And so I think that it would be just terrific to be able to read, you know, sit in a chair comfortably. And now, of course, picking up a book and reading is just about impossible. So our patients that have low vision needs have often been using these magnification devices that blow things up to a big screen. And, and while that is a tremendously useful device, it has limitations that they can only use it at home. I'm interested in, in any device that would help me keep my life as normal as possible. A device like this allows them to take this technology outside of the home, to places where they want to go, expands their ability to live their life a little bit more than they did before. Glasses make smaller. Now this writing I can read very easily that says improving your technique Wearable technology is really the future. It's the future for patients with vision loss, and this is a great example of technology that one can wear. It's mobile, they can take it with them to stores, the restaurants, allow them to, to help them at home and outside the home. It would be simply amazing to be able to see uh, things that are just fuzzy or non-existent, uh, like seeing the faces of people going to a, a, a gallery, and perhaps even seeing a movie. I have several patients who have been waiting for this technology for a long time. Glasses look <laughs> bigger. You know, that's amazing. <laughs> it gives you a great feeling of power. <laughs> Access to technology is really important. So the easier it is for patients to get this, and that involves us dispensing it out of our office, I think that's a great idea. It's all about getting the technology into the patient's hands. I have a number of patients that are looking forward to this device, hitting the market. Mm -hmm.